Hi, I'm Wilson. This is a simple video showing how to use the MIDI Captain to control the Boss GT1000 core. This is a very great guitar multi effects pedal. Actually, this core version has the same tone and processing ability as the full sized GT1000. It is very compact and easy to carry out. The problem is that it has only three buttons. So that is why we think about to use the external MIDI controller. GT1000 Core does not have the standard 5-pin MIDI input, so we need a special MIDI cable. Both have that cable called B-MIDI 5235. Maybe you can DIY that cable just like me. So here I just draw on the, the internal connection of that cable. Connect the MIDI out of MIDI Captain to MIDI in of the GT Core. Now the MIDI Captain is powered by batteries, so there is no other power source connected, and there is an expression pedal connected. The presets number two of MIDI Captain is a good baseline to control GT Core. If you are not in presets two, you can go to the settings and find the first item and change to number two. Actually, all the presets contents can be changed, even the name of the presets. If you are using the new firmware and anytime you change the, the presets, after you go back to the home page, the device will auto restart to load in the new presets. Okay, now we just enter into the presets 2 again. The presets 2 is configured as the ABCD is for the PC program control. There is no special setup for the PC control, so we can see this 1, 2, 3, 4 is already there. And 5, 6, 7, 8 for the next page and so on. It's very simple and this is all for the PC control. However, we need more controllers, such as using the CC commands to control the modules on off so far, there will be no response if we send the CC commands. We need to build the CC mapping firstly. Since we already know the CC numbers to be sent, we can just do the mapping setup on the host device. Pay attention that for GT1000 Core, each program or presets has its own CC configuration. It means that if you set some CC configuration, it is just for this current preset. You have to set CC control for all the presets one by one. The good thing is that you can have a very specific CC configuration for each of your presets. For some circumstance, you have a module in one of your presets, but not in the other presets. If you have only the uniform CC control for all the presets, it means sometimes there is no target modules to receive that commands. The trouble side is that you have to do a lot of CC configuration works. Today we just use one preset as an example showing how to configure the CC controls for module on and off. Now we came to the most important part of the configuration process. How to find the configuration items. Because the menu and operations are relatively complex in the GT1000 core. Now let's start the setting process based on the current preset. Okay, let me check. It's the fifth preset. Let's go to the signal chain display. Okay, we can see here is a DS1 module. That's good. Let's take this as an example. Now let's find how to do the CC configuration. First, let's hit the menu and from this control assign. Now we can find the assign setting and entering. We can see this target. Here is what we want to control. And you can control many things as you want. Here is a tip that actually this table is not complete. You can hit the right arrow and you can find the rest of the table. Now our target is DS1 module on off and here's the minimum and the maximum control value. 
Next page, you can see here is the source. That's the most important thing. The default is Control One. Now we can change the source. Control One, Two, Three, Four, Five, EXP, and the input pedal. And now, finally, we got the CC. Since we already know this button, send the CC eighty. So we just tune the CC number to 80. The CC message from the MIDI captain is already toggled. I found that in this case, this mood needs to be set to moment. CC value 0 means off, 127 means on. So now all the setting is done. Don't forget the last step is to active this setup. So the first item we need to hit the button to make it active. Then we can start to write all the settings. OK. Now we can use the CC commands to control the module on off successfully. You may wonder what else can be controlled by CC commands. Now let's go back to the setup again. OK, here we can see a huge bunch of parameters can be controlled. Not only for some module on off, also there is a lot of parameters need the CC continuous control. That means if we have the expression pedal connected to MIDI captain, we can select the source as the CC number of the expression channel to this target. We can see this CC control system of GT Core is very powerful. We can find so many things to be controlled. Let's continue to browse. The items can be controlled. We can see there are so many, so many. It's not like other patterns only provide several parameters to be controlled. There are tens, hundreds of parameters can be on this Boss GT1000 core. And looper, amp control, and tuner. Let's try tuner. OK, turn on, turn off. OK, that's all for the MIDI PC and the CC control for Boss GT1000 core. Hope you like it. See you next time.